uh, hi everyone so in this video we will talk about uh, more on the sqlize like uh, how we can create a separate schema model files and from there we can import those models and can run few methods like find by id find all these kind of queries and how we can define the associations between the different uh, tables like we have user we have post and then we can have further comments so user and post currently have a one to one relationship then post individual post can have one to many relationship with the comments so in the blogging applications where user is getting logged in user will have a one user is having only single post consider this is a scenario otherwise it, it will be always one to many one user can have multiple post and a single post will have multiple comments so user and post will have a one to many and that particular post will have a one to many relationship with the comments okay so this is our target we just try to deal with the two tables only for now like we have user and post which we have created earlier now let's seed some data in the posts also so what we did is we just bulk create all the users and then because user is now using primary key one two three four so we can also do the promise chaining because it's a bluebird based uh, bluebird based uh, library it uh, will always return a promise whenever you do any methods like bulk create insert bulk create uh, insert or update all these methods so here we are doing a bulk create we are trying to insert a multiple posts inside a post collections for the respective users so okay and this again there is some error constraint okay let's see user id on delete cascade null so i think it's not able to drop this uh, let's uh, we can manually drop it for now because when you have a primary key for anchor relationship you cannot like i did a drop right it's not happening so first drop that to table which is having the foreign key then you're good still sequelize insert So what wrong we are doing here is card the post constraints this uh, reference key unhandled rejection cannot add or update a child row what I am updating I am just doing a create operation it's doing bulk create is happening properly user inserted successfully after that uh, it has rejected a promise so a foreign key constraint fails so what Constraint is failing one by one. So I'm passing one user ID and it has one, right? So foreign key constraint is user has one post. So I'm passing user ID one and user ID two. So let's see this. It should work. I don't know what is the problem here. Cannot eat and update child rule. Let me insert only one. Uh, so this is happening. Let me I will check uh, this particular utility now in the tables. If you see, what all tables we have is we have two tables. In the posts now you can have the entry that we have user ID one, right? And we have multiple users okay so this is how we can we can do this bulk create bulk create will just uh, uh, will accept the arguments in an array right it's not a single object you have to put multiple uh, array objects here right so this is the one similarly you can create you can put all the uh, posts having user id one two three four it's a one to one relationship so you need to take care of that okay so this is how we can do that now next thing is we will just create a schema models and we will export all these things there so we can do user.js okay then export module.exports we can export this user object okay similarly we can create this posts ok 
okay and then module dot exports uh, what I, why I'm doing is because I will be writing the hooks and all the other utility functions on top of the schema models so I can just replace this code from here and I will just require things here you const user require from Similarly, just require posts. Okay, still things are intact. We are doing the same thing here, but we can also, we will also put this uh, in our schema model just to define the associations between the collections. So, let's try this connection is not defined let's try to fix the code where it is coming connection dot authenticate we got the user we got the uh, post object here user dot js1 yeah so this uh, if you try to move it into the schema model files then first in the sync utility so you see this sync utility we need to read all these files from here uh, this is sync utility so what we will do instead of doing connection dot sync we will read this models files and we will uh, run the the tables we will read the tables from here and we will create all these because right now what is happening uh, in this particular function it is accepting connection dot define user it is there uh, so let's put the connection object there uh, we need, we need to pass this connection object so uh, what we can do is for now uh, if you wanted to just get this working then there are multiple ways you can just pass the connection otherwise we will find another way of doing it which is uh, totally different so require model dot user Okay, then uh, again the thing is const user. Okay, what I'm doing is I will be exporting this user functions capital one. 